Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss the adult bradycardia algorithm with a pulse. So let's get started. Bradycardia is a condition in which the heart beats too slowly, depriving the body of the necessary blood flow and oxygen. In such situations, healthcare professionals rely on the Advanced Cardiac Life Support, or ACLS bradycardia algorithm, to manage the patient's condition. So, let's take a closer look at each step of the algorithm. Step 1. Identify and treat reversible causes. The first step is to identify and treat any reversible causes of bradycardia, such as hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypoglycemia, or hypothermia. We need to check the patient's oxygen saturation level and adjust the oxygen flow if necessary. We should also check the patient's blood glucose level and correct it if it's too low. Here are four key points you need to remember. First, maintain a patent airway, assist breathing if required. Next, oxygen supply, especially if the patient is hypoxemic. By this time, you should have been able to attach the monitor and oximeter, and have your blood pressure assessed and obtain a 12-lead ECG if available while putting an intravenous line into the patient. Now, step 2, evaluate the need for intervention. If the patient's heart rate is less than 50 beats per minute and they are showing signs of hemodynamic instability, the next step is to consider intervention. We need to check the patient's blood pressure, and if it's low, we may need to intervene. Here are a few things we need to consider for intervention. First, if the patient is hypotensive, or if there is altered mental status, if there are signs of shock, we have discussed the signs of shock in the last video. Next, if there is chest discomfort or pain, and lastly, if it's acute heart failure. If yes, we just need to monitor the patient and observe. But if any of these signs persist, we need to intervene. The first intervention in the ACLS bradycardia algorithm is to administer atropine, a medication that increases heart rate by blocking the action of the vagus nerve. We should wait a few minutes to see if the heart rate improves. If atropine does not improve the heart rate, the next intervention is to consider transcutaneous pacing. Transcutaneous pacing is a temporary measure to increase the heart rate by delivering electrical impulses to the heart. If atropine and transcutaneous pacing do not improve the heart rate, the next step is to administer a medication such as dopamine or epinephrine to increase the heart rate and blood pressure. We should monitor the patient closely for any adverse effects of the medication. Now, here is a quick overview of the adult bradycardia algorithm by the AHA. First, rapid assessment of bradycardia and identification of the underlying cause. Next, treat the underlying cause accordingly. Next, if bradyarrhythmia persists, evaluate the complication and intervene. First, atropine, if not working next option is transcutaneous pacing. If both of these won't work, medications such as dopamine and epinephrine, that's it. By following the ACLS bradycardia algorithm, healthcare professionals can effectively manage patients with bradycardia, improving their chances of a positive outcome. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will discuss the adult tachycardia algorithm with a pulse, so stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe and support us. Thank you.